Take note. Big Beach. We're here. I'm at Alistair. It's different this time. What's up guys, Terry and Trey here, and the Knicks finally lose their, well they wanted to get four games in a row, right? But we finally lost our winning streak of three games, so up to the heat, you know, what can I say? <laughs> I mean, third loss against the heat this season, it's an elite finals team, I'm gonna go off for a bit, I got a lot to say. So, one, uh, Tibbs has to change his rotation, he's running into trouble playing Alfred Payton, everyone is back, Alfred Payton is not giving us enough, this is not a personal attack on Alfred Payton, but he cannot shoot. And you have RJ and Randall who dominate in the paint. It has to change. Quickly has to play more. We are going to see these teams more and more as we get to the end of the season. The things that worried me tonight are they were able to kill us with the zone. They trapped us out the pick and roll and destroyed us. And you can see when teams key in on Randall like this, he's not going to have a good game. He doesn't have enough help around him just yet. Now, the Heat are an elite team. I don't want to sit here and say it's going to happen all the time. Most teams cannot defend like the Heat. The Heat are basically an upgraded version of us. Everything we do, they do on our level, but better with better players, and they've been to the final. So you can't compare it, you know, straight up. We right. only lost for 10 in the end, but we missed free throws tonight. We got frustrated at times, and the Heat, they, they were ready for that. They're ready for this game gamesmanship. Uh, it's, it's it's just a more experienced team than us, but Tibbs is going to have to figure this out with the rotation. He's playing yeah. Peyton too much. And we're starting games badly and we're having bad third quarters. And it's not, I'm, I'm not trying to say he's the worst person in the world or anything like that, but his skill set just does not match up with the players around him. And even if he gets to the rim, and he's very good at getting to the rim, but he cannot finish there. So it's a problem. Rose is back, quickly is back. I'm not even saying to not play Peyton, though I think long term, that's, I mean, we do, I don't want, he shouldn't be here next year. We need to upgrade the point guard position. Yeah. But he's the best minutes. If anything, cut his minutes a little bit. Give quickly some more minutes. Give Rose some more minutes. This is going to happen when we play good defensive teams. They're going to zone us out because they know as much as we've been hitting shots this year, we're not really a good shooting team. Yeah, they, they, so this this team, this Miami Heat team, like you just said, is the team that we almost kind of want to grow into be. They definitely force the turnovers. They definitely, um, I mean, I mean, they, they had the advantage the entire game and it was kind of very evident. They, they almost made us look a little bit sloppy. Yeah. Right, you were see, you were seeing us losing the ball and creating the turnovers. You were seeing their defense that was definitely outplaying our defense, um, and kind of almost making us slip up and making us make mistakes, sort of foolish mistakes that we were that we were not making before. And I think that's because they're an elite team, and they know how to do that. Right, they know how to get those calls um, in their favor, and they know how to play that kind of defense against us, and they know how to adjust. They're playing the zone, like you said, and we just could not, we, we couldn't, we couldn't really handle it. I felt like we never actually got a grasp on the entire game. You yeah. know, I think, yeah. I think the last few times we've been watching the Knicks play, we're watching them like have a handle on the game and feel confident and play with, and play with this like swab, like, yeah, we got, this is our court. And tonight I didn't feel that. I didn't, I didn't feel that energy of the Knicks, even to be honest, even like gelling together how they normally gel together. I just, I didn't feel it. Yeah, I mean, look, that's what good teams do, and we're going to play good teams that are going to do this. This game was a really good blueprint on how to hurt the Knicks, because like you said, we look discombobulated. The trapping, the trapping was excellent, and the zone defense was by far the best zone defense we faced this season. We faced other zone defenses, and we made it a break it at times. But then again, I want to say, I think Tibbs got outcoached tonight by Spolcher. Mm -hmm. I think his lineups were not good. He did not put great lineups out there. We need to... With Mitch being gone, we have to move Randall to the five at times and play and put an extra shooter out there and try to get something going. Knox is not great, but I'm telling you, put Knox in the corner a couple of times, getting a couple of shots. We're gonna have to get couple creative. Threes. Couple threes, right? <laughs> yeah, we're, listen, we're gonna have to get really creative in the last 25 games because missing Mitch means and and Nerlens Noel. We're gonna talk about him in a second. He was incredible, but these teams are gonna put us off our game. Julia struggled all night long. This was the most he had looked like kind of last year at Julius. But it's really because of the defense. And you can see he got frustrated as the, as the game went on. I also think he's definitely slightly injured. You can see yeah. him doubling yeah. a little bit. So it's, it's, just, it's the wear and tear of the NBA season and it happens. But uh, Tim's got to fix these rotations. I just want to talk about Nerlens Noel because he signed here as a backup and we were excited. You know, you get another guy kind of like Mitch who can defend. 
know what's crazy? There's an argument that he has been as good, if not better, than Mitch this season. No one's Noel has been. He's been giving us so much. And it sucks when it comes in a loss like this, but I just want to give a shout out to Nerlens Noel because he's playing some incredible defense out there. I mean, look, eleven rebounds. You know, um, wait, and, and didn't he didn't he give us some nice yeah, points? Did he get four blocks also? Yeah, did he get four blocks? Yeah, and I, and I didn't I didn't even have that there in the stat, but yeah, um, he definitely stepped up. And again, this is what we're seeing with his team, right? Different players that can step up at different times. And so, yeah, he did step up tonight, but we didn't get the win. But you're still able to see what he can bring to the game yeah he he's great he i want to they got to keep him find a way to keep him here um but a tough night overall i want to see some more quickly i really feel like his his ability his he has one ability that we just lack especially the way he shoots his threes he can break a zone and obviously you know it's not like he was amazing tonight he had, what, he had 12 points but i'm looking at the alfred payton minutes and against these kind of kinds of teams sometimes you can get away with alfred payton against some weaker teams but against these teams, they're going to find a way around it. And uh, it happened tonight. And, you know, Derrick Rose had some good minutes. But the Heat are just too good right now. They beat us, what, three times in a row, I think, this season. Uh, they are the eighth seed, but they're 100% going to finish in the top five. Uh, yeah. We were fourth, I think. I don't know if we dropped to fifth after this. But so, up, so I think that's where they end up. To be honest, I think the Heat are going to end up, even though what's crazy and annoying about this loss was they had lost, I think, six in a row coming into this game. Right. So they got hyped up for this one. You could see that they got hyped up for it. And yeah, we were, to win the game. Yeah, we were yeah. so they were 36 points by the half. And then the second half, the second, the third quarter, sorry, I think they scored 39. So they they scored more points, I think, in the third quarter than the whole first half. They went in halftime, they got re-energized, and you know, we hit them at the end of a streak. They were probably desperate to beat it. So Right. I'm not going to freak out overall. Tim's going to have to work on these rotations. We lost Mike Woodson today, of course. Funny enough, we did the video on Kenny Payne. And then right after, Mike Woodson now joins Indiana as a coach. So shout out to Mike Woodson. Right. Uh, I hope it's not he's not the good luck charm because God, I mean, it's the first game. I don't want to think about that, though. And hello. Happy Aries birthday to Clyde Walt Frazier today. Hi, the man. The man. So so much poise, man. I, you know, everything about this guy, so humble, so appreciative, such a gentleman and like a true class act. Clyde Walt Frazier. I have nothing but good things to say about him, man. He brought it to 100%. Him. We met him in the championship. championship. I know, right? Finally, the one guy that got us a chip, we met him a couple years ago. Uh, check out that video. It's like one of the first videos on our channel. He showed us off the rings. That was dope. So, happy birthday to Clyde. Unfortunately, the Knicks lose. I think we play the Timberwolves next. On that's Wednesday night. Yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, that's a bad team too, but I also feel Randall might have to miss a game because yeah. I, I feel like he may need the rest. This is the thing about being a, a good team or an okay team. You get banged up and you have to get through these crazy months late. I do want to say real quick, Obi looking a lot better past couple of games, doing some nice things up here. The truth is, we're gonna need Obi to step up too. I think the rotation needs some work. You gotta work on this rotation a bit. Get Randall up to five sometimes. Get another shooter out there. Get Alfred playing less. All right, guys. I'd say I know I spoke a lot tonight, but I was a little bit upset. I, I didn't have know. much to say anyway, so it's all good, son. It's all good in the neighborhood. All right, Peace guys. Out, guys. <laughs>